Hello, I'm Carla Clayton, the wellness lady, and I help busy professionals create a healthier life, home, and business one small change at a time. So today, the topic I want to talk with you about is soy. Isn't it supposed to be bad for you? Or is it really good for you for helping balance hormones? So today I'm going to share with you my own personal experience. I'm going to share with you things you should know about soy, things you should look for if you are going to choose to consume soy. And so stick around. It's going to be a great episode. I'm glad that you're with me today. All right. So here's what we're going to talk about. My story first. If you've been following me, you know that I just spent a week in Scotland. Uh, my love, his son was getting married at, in the castle in Scotland. And so we headed over there. Now, I have a confession to make. I travel all the time and I always take my soy shake and my vitamin strip. I call it my strip and shake. Everywhere, when I travel, no matter what, I'm still going to do my shake and strip in the morning. For some reason on this trip, even though I packed my shakes and strips, I just made a decision I wasn't going to fool with it. I was just going to have my strip and go have breakfast in the hotel and experience the Scottish breakfast, the British breakfast, which I did. And that was all fantastic. Enjoy the food. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. However, about day four, I was shopping and I got so hot. I got overheated. And I thought it was because, you know, I went from outside where I had lots of layers on to inside. I was just going to drop in the store real quickly and get out very quickly. I got stuck in the line a little bit. But all of a sudden I got so hot, I, I, I ripped off all my, my layers and I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't cool off. And I really thought I was going to have a heat stroke. It was that bad. I got outside after I did my transaction. I sat outside in the cool temperatures with just my one layer on. And it took me a really long time to regulate my temperature. I didn't really think anything of it. And then a couple more days passed and I wasn't wearing a lot of heavy clothing and I was in a, a little cafe that we stopped at and I got overheated again. And I was like, I reached for a menu and I was fanning myself and my love looked at me and he said, are you going through the change? And I was like, no, I mean, gosh, I went through that a long time ago. I don't have problems with that. I use my Shackley every day and that helps balance my hormones. Oops. And that's when I connected the dots and saw that I haven't done my soy shakes. And so those had really been helping me manage my symptoms, the hot flashes, and, you know, it's been so long since I've experienced them, I, I really didn't even recognize what was happening at the time. And I'm sharing that story with you to say that, first of all, because I have used these products, I've done the shake and strip for over 26 years now, I breezed through menopause with very few symptoms. I did have some hot flashes. I did have some anxiety. I mean, I did have some moments. But once I figured out what was going on, that I was going through menopause, that's when I made sure I was getting my soy every day. I added our, our product called Menopause Balance Complex. And I was able to balance my hormones so that they were doing what they were supposed to be doing and not getting all out of whack. So today I want to share with you, when I share the Prove It Challenge or I share my wellness plan with people and I say I use a soy shake, I get this all the time. Is it soy bad for you? I'm like, where'd you hear that? And they'll say, well, I read it on the internet. What was your source? I don't know. And then I say, well, all I know is that Dr. Shackley created the first plant-based protein shake out of soy over 60 years ago. And 
here we are. I've been using it 26 years. We have a landmark health study of people using the Shackley soy for over 20 years, some of them 30, 40 years. And we have the healthiest population ever been studied on the planet. There's also thousands of studies that show the safety and the benefits of soy. However, comma, I will add, yes, there are some problems with soy. There are, and there are reasons you should be concerned, but I will go through some things you should know about soy, and I will hopefully by the end of today's show, you will feel confident in using Shackley soy to help you to have more energy, sleep better, balance your hormones, whether you're perimenopause, menopause, or just, you know, your regular PMS hormones. Uh, that's what I want to do with you today. So I've got this information sheet, which I'm going to make available to you. If you'll just send me a message through uh, whatever channel works best for you, send me a message that you'd like this report. I'll send you the full report, you can read it. Now, this has been culminated and put together by some great minds in science, biochemists, who have um, really good credentials. So I'll send you the report if you want it. Comment below, message me, whatever. But I'm gonna give you some of the, the highlights, okay? So the first thing is that the quality of the soy that you're ingesting is important. I'm gonna give you a checklist of Seven things you should look for if you're going to consume soy. Are you ready? First of all, the soy must be grown organically because we don't want to be adding any kind of pesticides or things like that into our bodies. Secondly, these, these beans should not be genetically engineered. Now, this has been a problem in the soy market that most soy has been tinkered with. But what I want you to know about Shackley soy is they participate in a program that actually they test every single batch and they have what's called um, an identity, a gene identity program. They actually look at the gene inside the soybean to make sure it has not been altered. Does your company do that, that you're getting your soy from? That's very important. The next thing is each batch of soy needs to be tested that it has all, all nine of the essential amino acids, the ones our bodies don't produce for themselves. They all nine have to be in there because just being low in one of those can reduce the effectiveness of it. So that's very important. The next thing critical is how is it processed? This makes a huge difference. Most soy in the United States is processed through an alcohol washing. And when you do that, you re remove a lot of the soy isoflavones, which is where those, those health benefits are coming from. Uh, and it can also alter it in a way we don't want it altered. So they need to be water washed. And that is the way, everything I'm telling you on this checklist is the way Chackley does it properly. Now this one, I get questions on this one a lot. What about, I've heard that soy affects the thyroid. True statement. So what Shackley does is they go in and they take out the anti-thyroid, anti-growth substance that's found in soy. It is removed. Okay, so you have no worries there. And then the next thing on our list, the sixth thing to look for is when they're processing the soy, are they doing it at a low heat, not a high heat? Because high heat changes things quite a bit. And then the final thing is the soy isolate needs to have some calcium added to it because when you remove oil from the soybean, it's going to create a more acidic a product. So by putting that calcium back in, it brings it back and balances it back and makes it neutral again. So those are the seven questions you need to ask if you're going to use a soy product. And I assure you that all of the, the soy that Shackley uses meets all of that criteria. So that's what I wanted to share with you is soy safe. Yeah, it's been proven. 
Um, allergies. So this is a big thing is a lot of people have developed allergies to soy over time. So what, what we recommend to people is really to begin to work on creating a healthier gut through uh, consumption of some good probiotics, start to heal that gut, and then start gently introducing uh, the properly, properly processed soy. And one might find that they truly weren't allergic to the soy, but they were reacting to how it was processed. So, you know, of course that's a test. Uh, you might wanna try working with your doctor uh, certainly not if you have a serious soy issue, but really other than that, there's, uh, unless you have a soy allergy, true soy allergy, uh, soy is safe, it's proven, and I'd love to get you this report so that you can learn more. So please drop comments below if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, if anything surprised you, and also I want to move now into talking about some upcoming events that we will be hosting to help you on your wellness journey, because that's what I'm here for is to help you one step at a time. So what's up next? Tomorrow night, I am hosting a webinar on brain health. It's called Brain Health 101. We have guest speaker, uh, Dr. Richard Browse, who is going to be talking about what are the things that we can do now before we're older to help prevent age-related dementia. It's not inevitable. I mean, a lot of us think, oh, well, it's just gonna happen when I get older. But there are a lot of things that we can do naturally that can help with brain health. So be sure to register and share the link to register with your friends and family because we can all benefit from this information. You can find that registration link by going to wellnesslady.com and click on the events tab. And that's true anytime. So if you're watching the replay and it's not the webinar, there'll be a different webinar there that you can uh, register for that's going to really be amazing because we have great speakers every month for you. The second thing I want to talk with you about is we're going to be launching another 30-day wellness challenge and self-care challenge in October. It's going to kick off October 7th. So we want to invite you, you're going to be getting some, some recipe ideas, some exercise ideas, motivation, meal planning, and prepping ideas, and we're going to be doing it in our Get Healthy community. It's an exclusive group online on Facebook, so I want to invite you to just message me if you want to know more about that. And then the third thing is we're hosting a book club on, a, it's going to kick off in the end of October. So you'll need to order your book. It's going to be a really good book on developing your morning routines so that you can really own your day and own your life. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Again, ask me how you can be a part of my Get Healthy community so you can participate in all of our health challenges, our inspiring book clubs, as well as our educational webinars. Again, stop by my website, wellnesslady.com. Please like, comment, share this video because I just absolutely love knowing that you're getting value from what I'm bringing to you each and every week. Take care and have an amazing Tuesday. And here we go again. This is our favorite part, right? How do we end the show? <laughs> I have to close out a couple of screens and here we go. So for real, this is for reals now. Bye-bye.